Hey everyone, so today I am here to do the TMI tag. Um, so I wasn't tagged by anybody but specific, um, but I was, so it's been going around YouTube and I saw it last week and everybody's doing it and I said, well, I'll do it too. And I finally got around to doing it and um, I had just watched Sam Sherman's and then she tagged everybody. So I, if you haven't done it yet, I tag you. My computer keeps freezing for some reason. It's not like it's hot in here. I don't understand what it's doing. So anyways, let's get started. It is 50 questions. I have them here on my phone. Um, so I am going to go over them with you guys. Um, so yeah, 50 questions. Question number one, what are you wearing? Um, so today I am just wearing um, a purple shirt with butterflies and like design and it's kind of like um a long john material if you know what long john material is um so because it's chilly out today and um i have fleece black pants on with my hello kitty slippers because i'm in the house chilling and um yeah so that's what i'm wearing number two ever been in love yes i am in love now with my husband um we have been together for eight years we've been married seven and we love each other what is on my nail number three ever had a terrible breakup yes i've had quite a few terrible breakups um and it seems like um, they happened when I came back from vacation. So I went on vacation without that significant other and come back and guess what? We're broken up. <laughs> okay. So how tall are you? Is number four. I am five foot, five foot, five feet tall. Um, that is it. I am very short and petite and yeah. So I was five one for the longest time and um, I don't know. I must be shrinking. Probably because I, I don't sit up tall. Like, if I sat up tall, my back hurts. So, um, if I sat up taller, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm five feet. Um, how much do you weigh is number five. I'm not saying I weigh too much. Is that, that's just it. I weigh too much. Um, number six, any tattoos? Yes, I have two tattoos. I have one on my leg and I have one in the middle of my back so I'll show you guys what they are and there's like um well there's a story to go with the first one that I ever got and that is on I know excuse me <laughs> so that is on my leg right here so there it is it is a um ribbon it says love on the ribbon and it's holding a bunch of flowers and the flowers stand for people and so the sunflower is me. Um, the daisy is my sister Kim. The calla lily is my mom. And then the rose, the red rose, is my sister Samantha. Um, and she um, she passed away when she was little. So um, my sister um, drew this up. Oh, I've had this a long time. So my sister drew this. Uh, hold on, I think. I don't know what that was. So my sister drew it up, and um, I had a friend at the time that um, did tattoos, and I brought it to him and said, can you, you know, do this? The three of us have it. Um, my mom has it in the same spot as me, and then my sister, to be different, she had to get it on her back. So, um... He, he um, copied it because it's her picture. She drew it. He copied it onto the paper, you know, the tracing paper. If you have a tattoo, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then he just fixed it up a little bit. And then he copied it on. He tattooed it onto where we wanted it. And, yeah, so that is that. The same person did my second tattoo. Um, but it was quite a few years later. And it was. Um, there's a whole story behind why this tattoo is the way it is, I think, in my mind. Um, but he also did a tattoo on my friend, and hers is jacked up, too. Well, was. I guess she got it fixed since then. But he had 
he tattooed it really hard and it's all scar tissue so i'll show you guys really quickly where that one is so that is what that looks like it's in the middle of my back it's pretty good size um so it's about as big as my hand um so that's that one um and it's a scorpio scorpion and um that's my sign so that's why i decided to get that i always wanted it and i wanted um like on the side of it i wanted when i got it done i had only had my my one child um and i wasn't planning on having any more children i was a good size then i was i wasn't skinny but i was a lot thinner than i am now and so I designed it where I would eventually get, um, add on to it and go around my back and into the front, um, uh, like a tribal design. Um, but that like scarred me forever. Literally, um, it's basically ruined. Like it ruined my skin. Um, he went too hard to, um, into my skin it's all scar tissue like it's raised above my skin like the one on my leg is perfect and the one on my back is just ruined like it's scarred up it blistered up for a long time it hurt i passed out twice just on the outline he didn't even color it in when i passed out he was doing the outline in black and i have passed out twice once where he used the smelling salt to wake me up because i was knocked out um and I was in so much pain and I can tolerate pain like I I can tolerate pain like no other like I, I that's just the way I am uh, like I, I've handled three kids with no no drugs all natural nothing no help um, and for me to pass out in pain because of that on my back is just like you know he did something wrong um, and it took forever to heal, like, um, even, like, two, I would say even a year after I had that done, it, it still isn't healed. And you can feel it, like, on my back. If you rub your hand on my back, it's, like, braille. Like, you can literally feel the outline of this tattoo on my back. Um, and I showed it to uh, other tattoo people, and they can't believe how jacked up this guy did to my back. So, anyway, so that's that. So, those are my two tattoos. And I want more, like, they are addicting, like, once you get them, you want more and more and more. Um, but I'm so scared, like, I am scared. Um, so, let's see. Any piercings is number seven. Yes, I have, um, two here, two here. I have my nose pierced here, um, I had a cartilage piercing when I was younger. I took it out to clean it and I couldn't get it back in. Um, so it seems like I've done piercings with friends. So that one up here I did with my friend Shannon. She might still have hers. I took, like I said, I took it out to clean it and I couldn't get it back through the cartilage. Um, this one I got done with my friend Jessica. My tongue. Uh, I've had that for... Since I was like 24, I got that done with my friend Lindsay, which is Shannon's <laughs> sister. Um, she didn't get her. I think, did she already have hers? I think she already had, I don't remember. But I remember she took me to go get it done and sat with me and everything. Um, and I had my belly button pierced, which my friend Janelle did because she was working at a tattoo place at the time. And uh, I don't have that anymore because I took it out when I got pregnant with my son Nathan and then I was out of shape from that pregnancy and then I got pregnant again with Shane like right after. Like they're only 21 months apart. Um, so I just never put it in and I've never gotten back into shape where I would be comfortable with having it in and showing it. So, um, but that's it. That's all my piercings. Um... OTP is number eight. So I looked this up because I didn't know what it was. OTP is one true pair, one true pairing. So, and then it gave an example of Ron and Hermione. So I think one true pair is like your one true couple that you like together. So I couldn't think of anybody that like, um, 
I don't know. I couldn't think of anybody. So I'm going to say me and my husband are one true pair. So, yeah. So, anyways, number nine is favorite show. I have tons of favorite shows. Pretty Little Liars is, like, right up there. That's, like, my number one. I cannot miss Pretty Little Liars. I have to have complete quietness in the house. And I sit there in my chair with my snack, whatever I'm eating, either popcorn or something. And... Like, everybody's, like, kids have to be asleep. Husband has to be quiet and watching his own show and content. And I have to have quietness. Um, so, Pretty Little Liars. Bates Motel is back on, which I'm loving. Um, it was American Horror Story The Coven. Um, but that's over. And I guess they're filming season four or whatever. But I don't think it's going to be The Coven. I think they're going to do another like, they do a different one every time, so I don't know. But it, I think the same people come back, so we'll see what the next one is. Um, but, yeah. Number 10, favorite band. I don't really have a favorite band. Like, if I have to pick a actual band, um, it would have to be Clutch. Um, I like them a lot. Um, if you don't know who Clutch is, look it up. It's C-L-U-T-C-H, Clutch. Um... You would know a couple of their really popular songs because they used to be on, like, um, uh, it used to be on, like, a TV show. I can't think. It was, like, a cop show. Um, um, yeah. So, look it up. It's a good band, and they're out of Maryland, I believe. Um, and, and the reason I like their band. So I've heard their songs before, and I just never knew who they were until my husband, because he's a big fan of theirs. Um, so, yeah. So, I would say that's the one band that I actually like. I like a bunch of singers. Like, I like Luke Bryan. I like um, Drake is a different music genre that I like. Um, pop music, country music, rap. I tend to only like Drake and Jay-Z for rap. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, so that was banned. Number 11, something you miss. It says something, not someone. So something I miss would be my, I miss my pre-baby weight. Like what I was before I got pregnant with my, uh, with my two younger sons. Um, because my older son is, he's older. So I was done having kids at that point and I wasn't, I wasn't in terrific shape, but I was in way better shape than I am now. So I would say that. Come on, go flip over. Uh, let's see. Number 12, favorite song. I like so many that I don't really have a favorite. But if I were to pick a favorite, it would probably be Hotel California. Um, favorite band. Oh, no, I already did that. Um, something you missed, favorite song. Number 13, how old are you? I am 35. Um, I seem to be a lot older than a lot of people on here, which kind of worries me sometimes because they're a lot younger. Um, not like older, like I'm not like the oldest person on YouTube, but I'm just saying, um, like, in the category that I'm in, like, the beauty community and the nails and the nail design and stuff like that, it tends to be a lot younger girls, um, which is fine, and I don't mind watching them, but um, this is one of the reasons I'm sticking with this is because I feel that I could bring more to the table for being a 35-plus 30, woman. So anyways, I'm just blabbing. Um, let's see. Number 14, Zodiac Sign. I told you guys already, I am a Scorpio. Um, my birthday is November 20th. Um, I was born in 78, so do the math. I'm 35. Uh, let's see. Quality, number 15 is quality you look for in a partner. The first thing I would say most important to me is sense of humor. Like, you have to have a sense of humor. You have to make me laugh, um, which my husband does. We crack up all the time. Um, and I think that's why he's also a Scorpio. So I think that's why we get along so well is because um, 
we're like the same. Like even at like the beginning stages of our relationship when we were dating, like we noticed that we would always finish each other's sentence and we knew what each other were thinking and um so yeah, so a sense of humor, you have to be funny, you have to make me laugh, you have to be honest, you have to be caring. Um you have to um, be compassionate and be, um, into that person. Like, like I was saying, like, you have to know, kind of know what the other person thinks. Like, you have to be in tune with that person. Um, so those are the qualities, yeah, that I look for in a partner. And that's what he is. So, 16, his favorite quote. My favorite quote is, you can't lose something you never had. And if you think about it, it goes for just about anything. And that quote got me through a really rough time in my life where I thought that I had um, really messed up on a relationship that now that I think about it, I know it wasn't my fault because I gave it a second chance and it didn't work the second time either. And that quote is from, um, if you guys ever seen the movie, one of my favorite movies is um, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. And... Um, Kate Hudson says it to Matthew McConaughey's character. She says that you can't lose something you never had. And it's so true because I used that in that situation that I was in. And it was like, you know what? And it made me feel better. It was like, you know what? You really can't lose something if you never really had it to begin with. Um, so that is one of my favorite quotes. I have used that in so many situations. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see, 17, favorite actor. Um, so my favorite male actor is Matthew McConaughey. I love him. He is gorgeous. He is a great actor. Um, and for female, I have a couple. Um, Kate Hudson. I love Kate Hudson. Um, Jennifer Aniston and, um, J-Lo. I really like Jennifer Lopez in movies. I think I prefer her in movies than I do in music. Um, she's a great singer, too, and she's a great performer, but I like her movies. Uh, let's see. So, 18, favorite color. My favorite color is purple. I have everything purple, just about, or has purple in it. Um, yeah. Number 19, loud music or soft. Um, I prefer loud music, I guess. Number 20, where do you go? Hold on. It keeps flipping. Where do you go when you're sad? Um, when I'm sad, is that light on? When I'm sad, I tend to come in here in this room lately. Um, it just gives me peace and quiet and serenity in here. Like, this is my own room. It's my, he calls it my woman cave. Um, because he doesn't have a man cave here. Um, and it's all my stuff. Like, it's my clothes, my shoes, my makeup, my vanity, my computer, my my filming area, my nail polish. Like, I'll just come in here. And sometimes, like, um, like I honestly, I came in here the other night because I was upset about something. And I, I, I was crying. And... I didn't want anybody to know that I was crying, so I came in here and I just sat here and cried for a minute and thought about the situation, and it wasn't, it had to do with my son, my older son, and, um, yeah, so I just sat here and cried for a couple minutes, went in the bathroom, washed my face, and I was good to go, so, um, yeah. And number 21, how long does it take, take you to shower? Um, it takes me to shower, like, probably 15 minutes. 15 minutes. If I'm just washing up, less than that. If I'm shaving, I would say 15 to 20 minutes. 22. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I don't usually get ready in the morning unless I'm, like, I don't really get ready until, like, late morning. Um, so, and that's only if I'm going somewhere. <laughs> But if we're going somewhere and I have to do hair, makeup, get dressed, everything, I would say a good hour to an hour and a half to do everything that's straightening my hair. That's not just pulling it up like this. It's actually doing my makeup, straightening my hair, 
or curling my hair or doing something with my hair. Um, let's see, where did I leave off? At 23, ever been in a physical fight? Yes, I've been in a couple of physical fights. Um, not really good to admit. Um, uh, I have been in a fight with girls. I've been in a fight with guys. Um, so yes, I have been in quite a few. Um, not that I'm like a physical, it's not like I would get in a fight right now and somebody it's only when I feel threatened and I feel that yeah if I feel threatened myself or if I feel that a family member or a close person to me is threatened that's when something in my brain just clicks and it's just like balls to the wall I I just that's the way I am that's the way I was raised um because I am short and I was petite. I was always brought up to stand up for myself and don't let anybody talk to you or disrespect, you know, disrespect me or my family. And that's just the way I was brought up. So, and where I grew up as a younger child, I grew up in a big city where um, we lived in the projects. And that's just the way I, my mom raised me. She raised me because at the time my sister was little, so, um, um, but she raised me to stand up for myself, and that's just the way I've always been, even in, um, relationships where, um, when I was younger and I felt threatened in a relationship, I, something would just click and I would fight for what I believed in. So, yes, I have been at physical fights. 24 is turn on. Um, a turn on for me would be to be funny. If somebody's funny, um, that's a turn on. Uh, if somebody makes me laugh. Number 25, a turn off. It, that one's kind of hard because the turn off that I have, um, I never had before. It was just recently. And actually, my husband does it. And um, he smokes. I, I don't like smoking. I smoked basically all my teenage life to my through my 20s. I smoked. And uh, I actually um, had a family member that died from lung, lung cancer. And it really, it really hurt me and it really touched my heart. And um, right after Shane was born is when I decided this is it. I'm going to quit smoking. And, um, so I did and, um, whoops, I'm trying to raise this up so it doesn't overheat again. Um, so that's when I quit smoking and it's been, how long has it been? Maybe four years? Shane's, yeah, he's gonna, he's five. So I would say four or five years it's been since I quit. So, and my husband still smokes, and he's always smoked, and that's a big turn off. Like, when he comes in the house, he doesn't smoke in the house. I don't know. Um, he smokes outside, and when he comes in after smoking, and you could just smell the stench, it's just like, ugh. So, I would say smoking, even though I'm kind of a hypocrite because I used to smoke. Um, so... Number 26, the reason I joined YouTube. So the reason I joined YouTube um, was basically to find myself a hobby because I was um, home with the kids when they were younger and um, like at nap time or something else when I started my first channel. I was just looking for something to do to keep my mind busy, to keep myself busy. Um, and that's when I started doing the nail tutorials um, and nail designs on my original channel. And then I got into the whole beauty community and the, the makeup and everything else and doing those kind of tutorials. And that's when I did that. And um, so, yeah, and then I switched channels and started this channel. Then I just got into the vlogging and everything else. So, um, yeah. So, um, let's see. So that's why I joined. So I figured, and I was watching other people, and I decided, you know, they can do it. I can do it, too. So that's why I joined, to keep myself occupied. Number 27, fears. Um, my one fear that I have, uh, well, I'm not, I wouldn't say one. I have a couple fears, but 
the one that is top of the list is Thunder and Lightning. I am, oh, I am just thinking about it. I am, I get anxiety, like a literal anxiety attack. Like if you look up anxiety, if it, it's the feeling that you're going to die and that you can't breathe and everything else. I literally get an anxiety attack with Thunder and Lightning. And so many people have made fun of me, like, because I, how am I afraid of thunder and lightning? I don't know. It's just something that I've always had within me when, since I was little. Um, I used to be afraid of fireworks too. Like any sharp, loud sound, for some reason, my ears are very sensitive and um, I don't know. I just get so scared. Um, the other thing is spiders. I hate spiders. Hate, 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 hate spiders. Ugh. Like, and most people say snakes. I love snakes. I could chill with a snake all day. A spider, you throw a spider in there? Oh my goodness. No. So, thunder and lightning and spiders. 28 is last thing that made you cry. Um, the last thing that made me cry was um, the other night when I was talking to my older son. He kind of upset me um, by something he said. And we were actually texting on Skype. And I had asked him a question about some, a couple girls that he had friended on Facebook because it came up in my news feed that he friended these girls. And I was just asking him like general, I wasn't being, trying to be nosy or asking him anything um, nosy about it. My nose is running, speaking of nosy. And um, he just said something really hurtful to me and I, that's when I was crying, um, and I was just, like, I was upset, I was more mad at him for saying it than I was upset about it, um, so I just, I closed out of Skype, and I just didn't want to talk to him at that point, I was just pretty upset at what he said to me, um, but I'm over it now, so whatever, um, Last time you said you loved someone, um, this morning to my boys when they got on the bus, I always tell them I love them. 30, meaning behind your YouTube name. So, my YouTube name is AllieCatBeauty78. It used to be, I think it was like AKG7878. I think it was. I don't remember that. I think that was my old, old channel. I'll have to look it up again. Maybe that was it. But now I change it to Alley Cat because Alley Cat, Alley is my name. That's my nickname since I was a kid. Everybody's called me Alley, my mom, everybody. Um, and then Cat comes from Kathleen, which is my middle name. And then my great, great grandfather used to call me Alley Cat. Um, and a lot of people in my family did. And then beauty is because of the beauty channel. And then 7-8 is the year I was born. So Alley Cat Beauty 78 is my name. And that's the meaning. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, where am I? 31. Last book you read. So the last book I read had to be a kid's book. Um, I don't know what it's called. Oh, I think it was called Colors. And we read it this morning because... Um, my son has to read a book every day for homework. Let's see. Um, oh, geez. What time is Oh, Okay, we got to speed this up. What book are you cur currently reading? I'm not reading anything. Um, the last show you watched, I watched last night. The, I think I watched The Bachelor last night. Yeah, I was watching The, the Bachelor um, where all the girls come back and talk crap. Um, I forgot what it's called. And then I watched Bates, the end of Bates Motel. Last person you talked to was my husband on the phone. He just called right before this. Um, 35, the relationship between you and the person you last texted was my husband last night. Or it could have been my mom. No, it was my husband. Uh, favorite food is number 36, is Mexican food. Number 37, place you want to visit is... I always wanted to go to Italy. Like, always. Wanted. I'll probably never go to oh, Hawaii. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. Um, 38, last place you were, I was in the living room. 
Um, but state-wise, I think the last state I was at was um, not California. Um, oh, wait, I always wanted to go to California, too. Um, North Carolina, I believe, was the last state I visited. 38, last, oh, 38 is last place you were. Um, 39, do you have a crush? Um, my husband. Number 40, last time you kissed somebody. I would say last night. My husband kissed me goodnight. Uh, 41, last time you were insulted. Oh, the other day when my son... That was kind of an insult, what he said to me. Um, he had compared me to two other people in his life, and I was just like, what? I don't think so. And I told him, I was like, that's kind of messed up that you would even compare me to them. Um, so, yeah. Number 42, favorite flavor of sweet? I would say chocolate is my favorite flavor of sweet. Uh, I love chocolate. 43, what instruments do you play? I don't play any. Um, I did take up violin in school. Um, and, like, to this day, like, every time I hear something with a violin or a fiddle, um, I don't know, I love it. Um, I did try taking up guitar um, because my dad, my biological dad, is a guitar player. And I don't know. I have guitars here, too. I, well, I had an acoustic, but he took it back to get it re, um, put new strings on it, and I never got it back from him, and it was like, uh, who's, Arlo Guthrie, it was his guitar, and I had, he gave it to me, not Arlo Guthrie gave it to me, but he gave it to my dad, or my dad's friend gave it to him, and then my dad gave it to me, and my son popped one of the strings off, and so I gave it back to my dad, and then we moved, and I never got it back. And then I also have, my son has a Fender Stratocaster in his room, my older son. Um, so I don't know how to play. I pretend I know how to play and make stuff up, but I've always wanted to learn how, and he, he said he would teach me, but never did. Um, let's see. So, number, what instruments do you play? Number 44, favorite piece of jewelry. I don't really have a favorite piece of jewelry. Um, the ones that I wear on a daily basis and don't really take off. Um, these are my wedding bands. My, well, my wedding band, my engagement ring. So, that's what those look like. And, um, yeah. And then this, um, my dad, well, my stepdad gave me for Christmas a couple years ago. I never take this off. My nose ring, I never take, well, I take it out and clean it and put it back in. Uh, my tongue ring never comes out. Um, every once in a while, I'll clean it and put it right back in. Um, and then that's it. Oh, my bracelet. I never take this off. My sister gave this to me. And because I like elephant so it is a big elephant this way and then when you flip it over the little one is a little elephant and it's just a silver bracelet and yeah so those are my favorite pieces of jewelry that I never take off um, other than to clean or something like that uh, number 45 last sport you played it wasn't like a s actual sport um, but we played catch and throw the other day at the park. Um, number 46, last song you sang, um, let me see. I sang, I don't know, it's a country song, it's called What Was I Thinking? I had that in my head a couple, like, half an hour ago. Uh, 47, favorite chat-up line. My back is starting to hurt from sitting here. Uh, favorite chat-up line would be, um, it had to, I can't remember the actual line. Um, it was something like if you and I were together in the alphabet or something like that. I don't know, it had to do with those letters and the alphabet and, I don't know. And then it says, number 48, have you ever used it? No, I've never used it, um, but somebody used it on me. And I think I laughed so hard that I had to walk away from the person <laughs> because I was laughing in his face. Um, so, yeah. Number 49, last time you hung out with anyone. The last time I actually hung out with somebody had to have been... I would say six months ago when we didn't really, well, yeah, we hung out, would be my friend Jessica and her husband Rob and then their kids. 
um, was the last time I actually hung out with somebody because we moved and now I don't have any friends. So it kind of stinks, but whatever. Um, all my friends are friends that I could count as friends are far away. And yeah, so that's the last time that was what, seven months ago, eight months ago. I don't know, something crazy. Um, but I mean, I hang out with my kids and my husband all the time, but that's about it. Oh, I hung out with my mom. Does she count? And her friends, we went out to, um, oh, what's that place? It's a, what is it? It's like a P.F. Chang's. Oh my God. If you've never been to P.F. Chang's, <gasps> delicious. Like, I, that's like one of my favorite restaurants now. I can't wait to go back there. Um, so yeah, that was the last time we really hung out. We hung out, we went to lunch with her friends and we hung out. So that was the last time. And number 50, who should answer these questions next? So I tag anybody who is watching, make sure you do this tag. It is fun. And then tag all your friends and let's keep this going. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a long, this was a long tag. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please like up and comment below. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. I will try and get more taped and put up here. I'm really working hard on it. I have a couple that I need to edit. I have a nail tutorial coming up soon. And I don't want to keep blabbing. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And so yeah, go up there or down there and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's get these numbers up there. So we will see you guys in the next video. Not we, I will. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye.